Give me a shot of alcohol. Hey, Michael. Haven't seen you since we tried to out magic Magic Milo. How are you? Bartender. That bad, huh? Let me guess. Girl trouble? Make it a double. <laughs> Looks like I better order my drinks now before you drink this place dry. I'll save some for the rest of you. I can't get too drunk. Can I get another? Thanks. Good policy, given what I've heard about your alcohol-infused decision-making skills. What have you heard? Uh, I have a friend who works at the Metro Quarters of Bellhop. You were spotted entering a hotel room after the nurse's ball in the company of a certain vertically challenged supermodel. Wait, that's that's public knowledge? You're not on Twitter much, are you? I don't even want to know. Nah, you're young, so you got overserved and hooked up with the wrong woman. Can never happen again. Yeah, I guess again. I see. Yeah, talk about any other subject besides my love life. Okay, please, but you gotta tell me first. Are you still going feet up with Brenda? No, no, not now. Not ever. Okay, please elaborate, because it sounds like... Brenda and I never slept together. My spies say otherwise. No, that's that same bellhop witnessed an epic catfight in the lobby. It took two security guards to separate Miss Barrett and your exceptionally fierce mother. Brenda staged the whole thing. I, I passed out in a room, that's all. She made my mom think that we had sex. That... Wait, wait, wait. So she used your intoxication against your mother? That's cold. Arctic. Yeah. My mom and Brenda never really liked each other, so she saw it as an opportunity to stick it to her. So there, there it is. Dang, that girl don't play around. To mow down her own stepson. Former stepson. I doubt that makes a difference to your dad. Stepmom on stepson, that's a step away from incest. At least you're not blood relatives. What? I thought you were going to overdo it. You know, drinking alone is never a good idea. Well, I'm here with you. You're here to drink, aren't you? True, but uh, I'm here with friends. Plus, I have ample reason to imbibe. I need to consume enough to forget the horror I was party to today. A bad accident at the ER? An accident of nature named Brad Cooper. He tried to corner me in the locker room. That Nelly doesn't get the meaning of the word no. Yeah, tell me about it. <sighs> wait, 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 hold up. That requires a bit of explanation. Oh, nice. Brad tried to blackmail me into sex last night. <laughs> Olivia Pope on speed dial. Who? I'll school you on good TV later after you tell Daddy Felix how he intended to blackmail you into bed. Kiki's up. So what's Brad got on you? I can't say. C don't you trust me? After we've been together in the all together for the worthiest of causes. It's not that. It's just we are strip brothers that share a common enemy in Brad. Well, not anymore. My neutralized Brad and his raging hormones. Uh -huh. Unlikely. Brad's nothing if not relentless. Well, trust me, Brad knows if he hits me again, I'm gonna give him up to my grandmother, the chief of staff. You tell Monica Quartermain that Brad is harassing you. Well, I'm gonna tell her that he's up to something sketchy with that Dr. Westbourne. Something sketchy? I only overheard enough to know that they can't afford any scrutiny. Whatever those two are scheming, it's bad news for somebody. Bob will get you tenant that somebody's Patrick Drake. I'm guessing... Whatever Brad is hiding was important enough that he dropped his demand for sex. I knew that Brad was hard up, but not that he'd sink so low to get some. Please know, he's not representative of the community at large. Most of us know better than the lust after straight men. Well, uh, on that note, actually, I should, I should probably tell you something about Milo. He was my bodyguard when I was a kid, and as far as I know, he's, he's straight. OK, did I admire Milo? Yeah, I certainly did along with the most of the rest of the population, men and women. But there's a difference in admiring a man and coercing him into sex. And Brad's behavior, it crossed the line. And uh, on behalf of all gay men everywhere, I apologize. <laughs> if there's something I could do to make it up to you, you know, let me know. I mean, wardrobe consultation, hell, a wingman, you name it. Thanks, but the only thing I need right now is uh, <clears throat> help getting over a girl. So who is she? This girl you need to forget. I can't say. Uh, you're a gentleman. <laughs> no, I'm not. This girl must have been pretty special to lay you so low. I mean, what's the problem? Have you ever fallen for somebody who's impossible to have? Uh, hello, have we met? All right, I'm sorry. Look, son, you come with me. There's a surefire way of getting over a girl, and that's by getting under another one. Wendy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you to meet my friend Michael. 
He likes dining out, long walks on the beach, and uh, getting his groove on. And did I mention he's single? 